Hey, welcome back. We have a sweet knife here, one I'm super excited about. I've uh, been on a Hansen knives, Scott Hansen kick ever since PNWCI. I was able to get my hands on a Hansen sever here, which although Onyx is kind of my favorite of his knives, the sever is also fantastic looking. So very excited to have another Hansen made knife in hand. This one, oh, I want to say it was KYCKS from 2022 that this was sold. And uh, the buyer put it in the safe, never to be, oops, get that off screen. I'll have to go through a uh, border on that. Now that I know what's going on in here, I'll be a little more careful. Um, but the seller put a um, put the knife in the safe and decided to sell it last week. Not sure what he's investing in instead or whatever, but pretty cool idea, by the way. What you just saw there was a return label for. Sorry, let me get this out of here safely. For a, uh, a tracker, so I'm gonna say show the other side. This is a, there's a tracker in here so that he can track it, so it doesn't get lost. Potentially, it gives him peace of mind. He said when he sends more expensive knives, which pretty brilliant actually. So I love that. Give me more peace of mind too. Just knowing you can always track it beyond what USPS can do. Whew, all right, here it is. Sorry about the wait there. Two minutes in. But let's see what we got. Oh, Hanson Sever. Let's see. Let's see. This is a pretty cool build, too. Not your plain Jane build. All right. Sever. Mike Norris Fire Clone. Old ass black paper. Mike Hardy. Like, come on, man. Just freaking show me the knife. There it is. Oh, dear. This is what's amazing about Hanson Knives. One of the best rollouts I've ever handled. Really excited to check out his liner lock because I saw one of them at a show and I was pretty blown away by it. And to actually get my hands on look at that crazy backspacer. So you got Timascus. Yay. Mokatai? Mokatai. Mokatai. Get this out of here. But man, his precision as a custom knife maker is really nice and it's not drop shot stuff usually these are oh my gosh so smooth usually these are on um, washers not bearings I can't tell with this one actually we on washers or bearings this time which is what's amazing about his knives is you can't tell a lot of times same with McGinnis that to me is a great sign about a knife if you can't tell whole oh. That's freaking crazy. This looks even better in person than it did in the pictures. Holy smokes. That's insane. It's one of the coolest Damascus I've ever seen. Got a nice little mocha tie around the uh, pivot hardware there too. Whew, that is a sweet knife. Oh, there we go. I wasn't using the lock bar, right? Oh, this one, this one might, gosh, is that on? This is what's so crazy about his knives is you just can't tell if they're on knife or if they're on if they're on knife if they're on bearings or washers. So cool. So if you're not familiar with the Hanson Onyx, let me grab one real quick. And that's this guy here. I love the the silhouette of this knife. Also crazy sweet Damascus knife. But look at that handle. I just I love this handle here. It is a little smaller. This sever, and they do do a mini sever, but this sever is a real nice, like, full-size feel to it here. I wish he had cut this back to give you a full choil there. That would have been so sweet, but still awesome. Wow, that action is damn nice. This is just brand new. Brand spanking new. 
pretty sweet. God damn. That's a sweet freaking knife, guys. Oh my god. That action is so good. I just unboxed the Shark Knife Co. Mini Goblin. And also handled the Shark Knife Co. Waka, which I think is considered, and even by myself, one of the best actions in the business. This is on another level. Oh. Holy smokes. I did not expect to like this so much. And sorry, that was all user error there. I did not expect to like this knife so much. This is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Wow, is that a sweet hollow grind too? Jeez. Is that hollow ground? Yeah. God. He just does amazing stuff. That one's also on uh, washers. And I think this one... I think this one's on washers, but I'm really questioning it because it's so light. Let me see if this is fully locked up. That's some custom hardware too, so I couldn't really mess with it if I needed to tighten it too much. God, that is amazing. I gotta figure out if this thing's on washers or bearings. We're going way in here. Sometimes with bearings, you can kind of feel them step. I think it's bearings, but they're damn smooth bearings, if so. I just don't think it'd be, you know, as new as this is, I don't think it'd be that drop shut on washers. But I don't know. Look at this crazy freaking thumb disc made out of Mokotai. Just every detail on this thing. What a beautiful freaking knife. This guy makes such good knives. Man, that position feels awesome. That thumb disc just gives you a little purchase on there that just makes you feel so confident. That's sweet. God, a fire clone Damascus. All right. Let me see what else I can tell you about it, because you're probably going, what the heck is this guy even looking at? Like, I don't even know what size it is and stuff. Let's get in here and actually, sorry that this is happening this far into the movie, or in the movie, into the video here, the recording, because a lot of you are like, probably already checked out. Three and a quarter cutting edge, just 3.375 on the blade length, 7.75 on the overall length. Wait, 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 don't tell me. I'm going to guess, even though this is a pretty sizable full-size knife here, it doesn't feel much heavier than my full-tie Onyx. The Onyx is smaller, but this is in um, Micarta, so 4.5, 4.75. 4.15, yeah, it is feel really light. I was just like thrown off by the fact that it's smaller than this, or bigger than this, rather. That must be that's way more. No, it weighs less. 4.25 on that guy. Wow, 4.10, 4.15, somewhere in there. That's freaking awesome. That is just sweet. For what it is, the size, the weight. It's one of the best knives I've ever handled. God damn. Well, I think I just need to end this video and go spend some time with this knife. One thing I can maybe do is just take a look inside and see, is there any weight relief on these? No, no weight relief on the liners. So it must just be that it's a pretty thin liner. And then what I love is just a sweet liner lock. So you're not going to mess yourself up when you're deploying it because you can't put lock bar pressure on there. Just a beautiful knife. Damn. That is just really sweet. 
the micarta is just, you almost couldn't even tell. You'd like, is that carbon fiber? It's very subtle what it is, so. Let's see if there's anything I don't like about it. I mean, I'm just trying to find something to criticize. Maybe a little hot spotty because he didn't knock it down a lot around the edges. It's got some areas that are knocked down. You can see it here. But some of these areas, like on these little corners here, are a little pokey. Just because I'm trying to find something I don't like about it. Like you don't like grab it and go, oh, no, that's a problem. But that's probably the only thing I could criticize on this knife. It's just so good. <sighs> Did not, ex I was kind of just like, oh, I'm just going to get it so I can really say I have one of each of the models of the Hanson. That was kind of my pursuit. But this is quickly one of my favorite knives in my collection. So that's insane. I mean, I knew I generally liked his stuff, but this is just surprising to me. Really satisfying on the action. Felt like it was a little light on the detent. If I really whip it there, I can shoot it out of there. So it could probably be adjusted um, with a little lock bar pressure. But again, stretching for things See, I'm just trying to see if I can fail it. I can fail if I don't give it a little authority like that. So, again, this knife, the way he makes his knives is not really meant to be used like that. Like, you can reverse hook his knives really easily. But I found with his knives, they're really designed to be more rolled out. That's part of why I love his knives, because it's such a nice rollout action. Same with the, uh, the Onyx here. It's just so good. What I love most is these new Onyx he's making. I really want to get my hands on one that has a, a thumb hole because you can kind of just put your thumb in there, your finger in the thumb hole and just roll it out. It just feels so good. So the thumb stud's not bad, but if you've rolled out thumb studs before, you know, it's not really like a supernatural way to roll something out, in my opinion. It's not bad, but um, I actually think a thumb disc is a little better for a rollout like that in some ways. Maybe not. I don't know. It's probably just tuning of the knives. But, yeah. Now I'm just rambling. That's all for now. Please like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one after I go get acquainted with this knife. So cool. All right. Take care.